shelter in place notice is no longer in effect for those living within a mile of Liberty Tire and Valley Station. And right now, with the exception of some hot spots, the fire is out. WLKY's Christina Mora joins us now with new information about the facility's environmental violations. Christina? Vicki, check out the view from the WLKY News Chopper. What a difference 24 hours can make. You can see the flames and the heavy smoke are gone. Now, just a few hot spots. They covered all of that with dirt. Well, we're learning the tire facility had been warned by the state more than once about fire hazards. Jim Rush had lived on Bohannon Avenue for 25 years. He says when Liberty Tire moved in just feet from his home, he got nervous. I knew sooner or later it was going to catch a fire. I don't know how many uh, how many million of towers they've got had ground up down there. Flames engulfed the facility on Monday, sending heavy smoke and dangerous chemicals into the air for nearly 24 hours. Up until late Tuesday, Rush and his neighbors were under a shelter in place notice. Now the health department says the levels of particulate matter are in the safe zone. The, um, the, the readings have dropped. They're no longer in the unhealthy range for susceptible people. WLKY checked with the Kentucky Energy and Environmental Cabinet and found in October of 2012, Liberty Tire was issued a notice of violation for failing to properly store tires, including failing to establish fire breaks to prevent the spread of a fire. The facility was up to code by January 2013. Then, four months ago, the Kentucky Division of Waste Management issued Liberty Tire another violation for the same issues. WLKY confirmed inspectors actually came to follow up on those violations on Monday when the massive fire had already started. I'd like to see them close that out and bring something in that's halfway clean. Now, we've been trying to get in touch with Liberty, Liberty Tire today. Finally, just now, I got someone on the phone and says, they have no comment. Here's what happens next. The Division of Waste Management will likely issue another violation to require Liberty Tire to work toward compliance. 